So Jesus says this in verse 6. He says, Don't give that which is holy to the dogs, neither throw your pearls before the pigs, lest perhaps they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. And, and I think he's still talking about judgment like he was with the plank and the speck in your eye. And now he's talking about it in a positive sense that when, when we help each other out, when we are able to, to give each other truth, um, you, you know, if you give it to someone that doesn't want it, it's like giving something holy to a dog or a pearl to a pig. Isn't that interesting? You don't give pearls to a pig. They don't appreciate it. And that's just good imagery, and, and I think it being a pearl is interesting, right? He didn't say gold. He didn't say a jewel. He said a pearl, and, and a pearl is made by an oyster after frustration, right? It's an irritation. The sand gets in there, and, and it, it it takes that irritation, and it, and it coats it, and it makes a pearl, and that's a good, that's just a good picture of truth, right? You and I typically know truth because of something very frustrating or irritating in our life that really helped create the understanding of a truth. And it's saying, don't give it to those who don't want it. And this is mentioned in Proverbs many times that you don't rebuke a fool, right? In their foolishness, uh, lest he, you know, rebuke you or, or, you know, kind of the same imagery here, they'll tear you apart. So, so what we can learn from this is don't give truth to those who don't want it. But we don't need to use this as an excuse to not teach truth or, or to help other people. Or to, And I think questions are really good. Ask questions to find out if somebody wants to truth. So don't give truth to those who do not want it, but make sure they don't want it. Don't just assume they don't. And then he says this. He says, uh, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open for you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. To him who knocks it will be opened. Or who is there among you who, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks him for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? And here's what I wrote in my commentary. I said, the world is full of people who do not truly want the answers. If they did, then they would receive him. Isn't that what he's telling us? People who seek will find. If they knock, the door will be open. If they keep asking... You know, they're going to get the answers. And so, man, you know, so many people complain about God. Why is this world bad? How could a just God let it be this way? And the answer is because of us. So many, you know, truth sets people free. And so many people do not want the truth. They're, they're more interested in other things. And this also has the idea of election. You know, Jesus says that no one can come to me unless my Father draws him. And so, but this is saying if you seek, you'll find. You know, we're going to find out when we get to heaven why some people sought the truth and why some, why others didn't. But, but we need to realize that we've got to stay hungry. We've got to keep asking that that everything's okay. God has given us everything we need for life and godliness according to the true knowledge of Him. The problem is people don't want the truth. So don't blame God for anything. There's pain in the world because of sin. There's sin because of people. God is innocent and God is loving and merciful and just and righteous. And he's not to blame for anything we are. And he's definitely given us everything we need, but it's, it's according to knowledge. And so the, the answers are all around us. Just so many people don't want it.